Right, what is up, guys? Take care. Thanks for sticking around. Um, thought we would do a uh, first look at uh, Black Ops 3 before it releases. Uh, so I guess tonight or tomorrow? Today's Thursday, so we're moving into Thursday afternoon. I guess it releases midnight tonight, so a lot of you tonight. More likely tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm excited. What up, Grogan? What up, Jaybird? So there's a co-op campaign. We uh we knew this from before. Uh, you can actually do a uh Okay, so you can find public public campaign mission, which is kind of nice too. It looks like no one is playing this right now. Which either means um literally no one's playing it, which is unlikely, or that they just haven't clicked on the servers to start matchmaking this kind of stuff yet. Um I've done a few. I've done the first two missions. The campaign is gorgeous. Like there's not too often where you look at a campaign and just kind of gawk at how um how kind of beautiful uh the game actually looks but i'm uh i was pretty impressed with how 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 good the campaign especially the first mission looked pretty fantastic what up work how you doing man uh zombies there's one map yeah man i'm good just doing some uh doing some streaming stuff Uh, I'm not a zombies guy, so I have no idea what this is. Yeah, what's up? Quite a few. <laughs> Spent a lot of time on my knees. Quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> Mouth was open all week, so. <laughs> yeah, so just one zombies map. I think Pope was saying yesterday there's a uh, there's a second zombies map that, that comes with the pre-order edition. I only have the Nuketown edition. And I haven't put in my Nuketown code yet, but if you guys really want to see Nuketown... Uh, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can do that. Well, let's do multiplayer. Yesterday, the only things that people were playing in multiplayer were, um, oh, free run. Free run is cool. I like free run. I was doing this yesterday. It's kind of fun. Let me show you guys this stuff. Hey, any notable famous characters in the game? Catch up. I don't know right now. I've only played two and it was like really late last night, so I wasn't. All of that focused on the story. I'm, uh, I'm going to go back and play probably the first two today. Kind of go back and check them out. But I'm not planning on touching the campaign until more people get the game tomorrow. Because I don't want to make the same mistake as Halo. Halo, I beat the campaign before the full game actually came out. And I know some people want to co-op with me. So I don't want to beat the campaign without that. But it's basically a parkour, parkour course. So I, I really like this stuff. I'm glad this stuff was in the game. Let's see if you can beat my time. You getting this work? Black Ops. Yep. Yeah, zombies are uh, ridiculously popular. Um, playing Halo for like a week and a half and then coming to this, it kind of makes uh, the whole parkour thing a little bit difficult because all the buttons are kind of mapped differently, but... Still a lot of fun. Yeah, I think you can do this kind of stuff in multiplayer, too. I feel like you can have a few more people in here. I hope so, anyway. It'd be kind of fun to kind of go up against a couple of your buddies. There's a punching ability in here, so it'd be kind of cool if you could go up against some of your friends and start punching them off walls and stuff. Yeah, a lot of hype around Fallout. Too much hype, maybe? Fallout 4 seems to have, yeah, Fallout 4 seems to have a uh, ridiculous amount of hype. I know Bethesda, and I know it's a game that a lot of people are waiting a long time for, but you just wonder whether setting such a high standard before the game has even come out is gonna... Oh, it'll be good. I just Let's messed up. 
Ja. Yeah. Good point. That was pretty brutal. I was like a good nine seconds after I'm off my fastest time. If you guys can beat whatever my time was, I think it was 218, no, tell me. Be fun little competition there. There's a couple of other courses, but that was like the easiest one. I don't know what the other more difficult ones are all about, but. Looks like it was used for testing. Yeah, it could be. That's what I've been kind of been using it for. I've been using it for uh, kind of testing the whole parkour system because coming from Halo and the way they kind of double jump and, and the kind of thrusts from left to right, you kind of miss it. Yeah, so there's four other um, free drone courses. Uh, and it looks like they're sorted out by their difficulty. I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying some of the harder ones, though. I will embarrass myself in multiplayer. Um, this is arena. This is, this is the, uh, um, the, uh, competitive stuff. This is the, uh, the league play equivalent from Black Ops 2 in this game. Uh, and it looks like it has like a ban and protect stuff, a ban and protect system, as well as a specialist draft. So, um, I'm going to do multiplayer first then I'll do zombies. I don't know people want to see what's here. Uh, game mode, so some of you guys are asking. So all the normal ones that you would expect. Um, TDM, free for all, nothing really here. Uplink is here uh, from last year. Safeguard is the is the new robot one. Uh, Hardpoint, count the flag. So nothing here that really you wouldn't expect. Uh, I don't know if anything is really missing. Uh, nothing is coming to mind right now. Uh, hardcore, uh, so four game modes. Hardcore free for all, which is, uh, which is, um, I think gonna please a lot of people. And then you've got, uh, your gun game, Mercenary Moshpit, which I'm really happy to see returning, and then Ground War. And it definitely looks like there's more people on, because yesterday, literally the only playlists that were busy were TDM and Tom. And it looks like we got some free for all, some demo, some guys playing some a variety of stuff today. I didn't want to play Safeguard. Uh, and even the hardcore playlist are a bit full too. So that's good. Looks like more people are getting online today. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's start with some TDM. Yep. <laughs> nice one, Catcho. I don't know if Animal knows that or not, but that's hilarious. Alright, six on four. Just the kind of match you want to get into, right? I guess this is what you expect from early release servers. Yeah, Ground War is definitely my my favorite game mode too, but I I, I want to get a little bit more comfortable with a lot of these maps first. Ground War seems to be a little bit unforgiving. Alright, so we're not down by that much, so we might as well come in here and play. Uh, let's start off with the AR. A lot of people dying in the middle already. CDP, be advised. Black Ops are in the AO. What special? I'm using Vision Pulse from the chick, and I'm using Profit's um, uh, Profit's glitch ability. Those are the two that I have unlocked currently. Oh, there is someone down there. I don't know if they saw me or not. Ooh, double drop shot. A bit slow, I'm gonna switch to the SMG. The Weevil actually is like my favorite gun in the game right now. It's got a super fast fire rate, it's got a really easily manageable recoil as well. Any changes compared to the beta? Um, 
feel like some of the weapons might have received small tweaks. But nothing major. I'll show you the score streak list after this. Obviously with the with more maps. It still plays really fast, which is good. I was kinda worried that should have been my kill. I was kinda worried that with uh kind of new maps and all that, especially with TDM too, I was kinda worried that maybe it would be a little bit slower early days, but it seems like people are um all an ass. Spotter down. You guys like my new site? Look at that thing. Ugly as shit, but it works. Yeah, weapons definitely sound different, and you can uh, you can kind of figure out They're based us. based on the sounds kind of what you're getting shot by. Uh, there was a few times yesterday where I was being shot and killed by this thing, the Weevil. Um, as well as the HVK assault rifle, I think it's called. Which is one of the main reasons why I... Man. Which is one of the main reasons why I actually ended up unlocking it first. Using the gun that you get killed by a lot is normally a good strategy in Call of Duty. Kind of flawless. There's a lot of guys here and I have an SMG. Might not be my smartest. Yeah, shot's a bit off right now. I'm sure streaming is going to help. Hostile care package overhead. I haven't tried it. Not really much of a sniper. But if you want to see me try and embarrass myself, I will. Um... Yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Got an informal moderator in here, it's great. Oh, nice bit of lag. Nice bit of lag. Um... One thing I was asked yesterday that I, that I pointed out too was, like, the first few games I felt like everyone was using the... The, I think it's the KN44, which is like the assault, the AK-47 assault rifle equivalent. And then after that, after the first few games, it seems like there's a lot of different, um, you never stood a chance. there's a lot of different, like, weapon variety, uh, on the battlefield, so that was kind of cool. This Litra Okola guy was a guy I was playing with yesterday, too. So it looks like he's trying to bunch a lot of us up together, probably based on connection. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I want to say it's a good thing because it doesn't seem like there's any skill-based matchmaking crap going on right now, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Last night, I was in between TDM and DOM. It was literally maybe the same 20 to 30 people that were kind of just rotating in between the two playlists again. And I know for a fact there was more than 30 people online last night. So it seems as though a lot of it is based on geography. Is there one gun in the game that everyone uses that will overpower everything else? Uh, if there is, I haven't found it yet. And I haven't been killed by it yet. Although, the XR2 is pretty good. It's the burst rifle, assault rifle. It was the same in the beta. It was really strong in the beta too, but... Um, I don't know. That kind of stuff, honestly, doesn't really become super obvious until the game kind of gets out into the public's hands. Then all your nerdy YouTubers start, Man, best gun, LP gun, best gun, Black Ops 3 video. Please click and like and say favorite and subscribe. Once all that kind of shit happens, the game normally goes to crap anyway, so... I'll get rid of my funky sight. As, as cool as it is, it's kind of hard to see anything. Nah, don't worry. Don't, don't worry about bad questions, man. Uh, Advanced War, I wasn't a fan of Advanced Warfare. I didn't play it much at all. Um, For a lot of the same reasons. I just wasn't happy with it. It was kind of jaded with Call of Duty at that point, too. So I am as eager and curious about this one as you guys are. And an error connecting to Xbox. Nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let me try and get back onto um, the servers. I'm just going to restart the app. One sec. Don't, oh, it worked. Never mind. I don't need to reset it. Yeah, some of these guys I played with yesterday. So it definitely looks like he's trying to bunch people up in, in by geography. Recognize a lot of these names from last night. Oh, catch up. There was some. There was some bratty kids on here last night. I don't know how they get this shit early, but they were not holding back with their colorful language. We'll slap on the uh, the UAV as my only streak for now, and it's three v two. Nice three v three. Yeah, it's not like Trump has anything more important to do. Profit ready to move out. Roger, Profit. I got gotcha. you. Trying to unlock Ghost. That's my um, kind of my objective right now. I think it's much higher level. It was really late Security unlocking the beta, and I'm assuming it's the same here. Securing Charlie. Um, people always knock people who use Ghost, but to be honest, the UAV spam in this game is a little bit ridiculous. UAV spam in every Call of Duty is a little bit ridiculous, but... It looks like our buddy's hopping on that objective nicely. The guy to my left, I don't know if he saw me. Hostile down. XR2! That was really bad shooting, really shit shooting. A detection isn't quite crisp yet, but I don't want to say that's because of the game. That might just be because I'm streaming. I don't want to put that on the game just yet. Enemy took Bravo. A secure. Losing Charlie. Good fire rate on that gun, the Vesper. I might try that later. I am two barring, and I'm on a two v four, so this is a bit. Garbage. Not really sure UAV what I'm able to do. And they've got a UAV. Losing a. May at least take that out. Nope. Hostile UAV above. Been slaughtered and live streaming. Good combination. We're being dominated. Go on the offensive. <laughs> yeah. I'm not expecting much much sympathy from you guys here. To be completely honest. I'm not expecting too many poor ticks. Really? Yeah, nope. UAV spotted. Nope. Should have stayed inside. This is rough. We'll play it at halftime and then we'll try and back out if no one else comes. I'm not normally a fan of quitting games, but. Ah, I didn't think he saw me. Was that really obvious in the Oh, I was. I didn't think it was that obvious. Securing a bump the flag, see if we can attract a little bit of traffic. Grenade, move, move. That worked. Securing Not quite. C. That guy's trying to cap flags, gotta give him a bit of credit. 
I think it's kind of fruitless in a game where there's only so few of us. Enforcer down. Take what you can from this and move the next round. That is not a gun fight I should have lost. Yeah, there's some some little bit of hit detection issues right now, but again, I think that's more streaming. Attempt ground war, I might. I might. Problem is I think I think the thing said there's only like maybe two people in ground war or two percent in ground war. So I'm not really Yeah, look at that. Hit detection is really off right now. We lost that engagement. Regroup and go again. Yeah, that was rough. Um, no, they haven't increased. It's still maximum 18 people. 18 people is a good number, I think. To be honest. I think it, it all comes down to your your map design, your map sizes. And I think that... Um, I think that... Uh, oh man, I'm just watching myself on the kill cam. That was beautiful. You want ground war, did you say? 4% in ground war. I want to see if there's a... EDM has a lot. Dom has a lot. And it's all kind of even after that. Hardcore TDM has a lot. I don't really want to do hardcore. Hardcore search. Interesting. Why are people playing hardcore search? Let's see if we can get into a ground war game. I doubt we're going to get enough people. I'll try it though. Yeah, it comes down to map design, right? Like... Sure, you can fit like thirty or thirty-two people, but is it really gonna? Is it really gonna benefit your gameplay? Probably say no. Ground war on Nuketown, though. Now that would be epic. Nine v nine on Nuketown would be great. That's something I can subscribe. To. And while we wait, I'm actually gonna put my Nuketown code in. Xbox, use a code. Jaybird, I don't think Ground War is going to work for us. I can try to sabotage my Xbox. No, I don't think Ground War is going to work. Jaybird should I try something else. I try and stream as often as I can. Fridays are only are good stream days for me. I'm gonna be home on Fridays, so. Uh, I didn't mix it up. Like last week, I did some Assassin's Creed. I did Halo before that. Call of Duty today. Maybe some Fallout 4 today. I've got an external hard drive coming in at four. Which I'm gonna need to do some Fallout 4 because I I don't have any more um any more space on my current console, which is a bit of an issue. Where's Ghost? Ghost is level 38. Oh my gosh! Long way to go yet. 
Uh, I can take an EMP grenade. We've got a suppressor on. Do we have a suppressor on our other class? We do. Lost connection. Okay. Be difficult, track. Jaybird's getting the game. Because Jaybird wants to play with me. I don't buy that spiel. What do I already have? I've got a quick draw handle. Let's put grip on. I've got a suppressed and a non-suppressed version of the weasel. One of these two should work for me. I like the weasel. Had some really good rounds with that yesterday. Some 20 plus, 25 plus kills. Uh, let's see if we can get a balanced TDM game. Uh, Dom game this time. Oh man, I always get nervous when it throws me right into a game. Good news though is, I've noticed, is if you join a game where your team is losing, and you stay in the game, you get, um... You don't get credited with a loss, which is kind of nice. Kind of ridiculous that it took some until 2015 put that in there, but whatever. I haven't played on this map before, so let's start with the AR. I just saw somebody run right across my line of sight. Treyarch maps aren't all that hard to learn. They're kind of all follow the same patterns. Three lanes, very few crossover points in the middle to cross lanes. Watch your mic there work, please. It's okay. Yeah, shot isn't great, and I am three barring. These are kills that I would have had last night. No, oh, I just got your game audio coming through your mic. Look at that, full clip to pull that guy down? That's not good. That's more like it. I don't know what, don't know what those guys were doing. I think B-Dom is right next to him. Another teammate went down here. I wonder if those guys are still here. No. Oh. Almost down there. On C. Was the KN44 named the same thing in uh All locations secured. Hold your in the beta? I feel like it wasn't. I feel like I might have got a name change. Alright, someone died behind me, so I'm gonna head that way. There we go. Losing a. One out to my left. I think my teammate just put us both on the mini-map. There you go. Okay. Do it again and let's go home. I know the hit markers have changed from white to red. Half time. Like a bright orangey red. Hardpoint would be what I was playing if I wasn't streaming and there's more people in Hardpoint right now. Hardpoint or Ground War. Just so that I would be able to learn these maps a little bit better. There's a guy that skipped to my right. And he just took out a teammate of mine. There's someone right there. Really missing grip off of this. Let's not do that. UAV inbound. Drop shot game is the second guy here. Where the fuck did he go? Got 
lot of guys on the left, so I'm gonna switch positions here. Black Ops 3 worthy bro game? I think so. It's not a as casual as maybe a Halo or a Destiny, but it kind of feels like well, in my opinion, there's a lot of the things that that you would expect. Why did that grenade not go off? There's a lot of things that you would expect a good Call of Duty game to, to do. Good maps, fun streaks. We've got a UAV. Oh, man. Turn on that guy so bad, too. UAV inbound. Turn the UAV inbound. You can see the, uh, much like in Black Ops 2, there's a lot of head glitches. Which is good and bad. Good if you like that sort of thing. Disastrous if you are up against a team like this that fucking loves to use them. I just ran out there. There's another guy there. Granada. I feel as though the KN-44, which is the default rifle that you start off with. Where are you, buddy? Incoming frag. I feel like the fire rate might have taken a bit of a hit. And they've added a little bit more recoil. That might be a change from the beta that they made. That works. That doesn't. If I had a sniper, I wouldn't be able to hit a barn door from about three feet away. I am a, an atrocious sniper. Like, it's not even worth putting that thing in my hand. I'll try and cap B. No one else seems to be here. My team! I was gonna say my team all seems to be on the left. So I should probably look the other way. What do you know? Overwatch. That was a six cents perk. Okay, buddy. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, you too. He's got grip on his. Should I take his instead? Someone's jumping around like an animal around me. Shot out. Oh. Down. Losing C. I haven't died from a sniper yet. Drop them. I don't think anyway. Kill their overwatch. The round's nearly over. Try to redeem yourselves. We're being dominated. Oh. We're gonna go, go for the gung ho B Dom Cap. I don't know if it's B. gonna be much use to us. A. Ah, nearly. Didn't get much support from my team there. A lockdown. There's another good head glitch. The um, the in-game freaking audio, which is something that Treyarch loves to do. UAV inbound. Despite the fact that people would much rather be playing their game than listening to the music. Is uh the audio is pretty terrible. It's not running here like a loser this time. UAV inbound. Tempted to make a push here, but all right, we gotta make a push. There's someone behind me here too, and I'm on someone's vision pulse. So one of their enemies bumped off and then disappeared. Might as well try hopping on B. How much time left in this game? Uh, might be the stream quality, Grogan. Um, you obviously don't get the same quality that I'm looking at. So, uh... 
You get a double kill? Nice job. Oh, he didn't kill me. He didn't kill me. Um, yeah, it might be the stream quality. From my end, the game looks actually pretty good. Not, oh my god, graphics are amazing good, but pretty good. Campaign's graphics were noticeably good. I mean, you never look at Call of Duty game graphics for, for a campaign and say, whoa, that's pretty impressive, but... Um, I was I was actually pretty impressed with the campaign. I only played the first two missions, but I was pretty impressed by the way the, uh, the graphics. I don't have a bloody clue what's going on in the story, but I'll worry about that later. Grogan's just being stupid. What a shock. What a shock. Oh, did I just see that? Crypto key earned, so that means I can buy one of those stupid, um, or not, I, can, I can't I can buy, but I need crypto keys to buy um, the supply drops, which I can't, I think I have to back out together, and I don't really want to back out because I've got a relatively full lobby in here. See, there's that Possify guy again, so it definitely does, does like to bunch you guys up. Um... Yeah, I'll have a look at that. That, for me, is like, hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, microtransactions are coming soon, so... I mean, whatever. I don't know what's what's locked behind that is really gonna be worth it. I mean, you can personalize a lot of stuff, camos and all this kind of stuff, paint jobs, camos, I guess. If that stuff is there, great. You can customize your specialist as well, so I've got Arctic helmet, or head camo. And body camo too, so I guess if you want to buy that stuff, go ahead. You can get you can get gestures for your um for your specialists too, so they can uh um so, so you can kind of do gestures at the game end round, all that kind of stuff. So I mean, if people want to spend money on that kind of stuff, be my guest. Microtransactions for cosmetic stuff is fine. Microtransactions for game essential stuff like Halo's acquisition points, kind of a pain in the ass. I had trouble seeing people on this map yesterday, which might be because the map's color, or it might just be that I'm a fucking blind bat. Both, both explanations are. Very likely at this point. Okay. Losing Alpha. We lost Alpha. So maybe the way to go is the weasel without the uh, without the suppressor. Looks like I unlocked another radical finger. Friendly UAV inbound. UAV while cruising in their spawn is always nice. There's a guy back here. I don't know what he's looking at. He's not really moving though. Is he away from? He is away. EKIA. Enemy has B. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. That is not good. Losing C. Hostile UAV spotted. I saw footage of this map. Does my only kill the AFK guy? That feels kind of fitting. Um, I saw footage of this map in uh, on the 360. This is bad. All of us are grouped up. Uh, lightning strike is gonna hurt. I saw footage of this map on the 360. And it is terrible. Confirm and kill. All right, Grogan. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I wouldn't say the um, Halo system is not pay to win. 
I mean, if you're someone who has a bunch of cards, like, I mean, there's been a couple of rounds where we've played where it seems like the same guy is rolling out tank after tank after tank after tank. I mean, that's clearly not the way the system was meant to be, um, meant to be used. Or maybe it was, I don't know. Which is really frustrating when you're sitting there and getting rocked by guys who are calling in tank after tank, vehicle after vehicle. I think I heard a raps deploy ship. Probably means I'm in trouble. It is cheaper to wait. I don't pay actually that much extra. I don't mean for this one I paid about ten dollars extra. Ten dollars extra for two extra days. It doesn't It's not a It's not a bad decision for me. I don't mind it. I don't think it's ridiculous. If it was if he was asking for more. Or if any of my guys had to get him from, or would I be asking for more? I probably wouldn't get it. Losing alpha. He did save me some money on Halo as well, so. What you can from this and win the next round. It's a rolling agreement. We're being dominated. Go on the offensive. No, I hear you. Hostile UAV above. Oh, just, they sound fucking terrifying, don't they? We lost the battle, but the war goes on. Bring your A game. Yeah, I would classify Halo as play to win. I would, because a lot of the, that rare stuff is uh, you obviously increase your chances the more packs you get, and the more packs you get is always based on whether you're putting money into the game or not. So. Probably switch my weapon, which is not. No, I think the, I think why people give Halo a kind of a pass on that whole thing is because they're um, the way they kind of their selling point for it was, hey, you buy this stuff from us now, microtransactions from us now, it means we're going to give you free DLC. Which is, I mean, is a good trade-off. Not a bad trade-off, but... It's just one of those things that... Microtransactions are microtransactions. You know, they nickel and dime you any way they can. That was a good spawn. I wasn't even looking. A locked down. Losing alpha. EKIA. Yeah, struggling on my shots a little bit today. Is that the person I just killed? It was, wasn't it? It was. That was nice. Thanks, game. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Outrider KIA. Wow, did I not see this person at all? Outrider. Enemy took A. Hostile Hellstorm overhead. Securing C. Losing Bravo. Charlie locked down. We lost Bravo. Prophet KIA. Hostile Talon inbound. Slowed him down. Yeah, Trek love these little power positions, I call them, above their main objectives. Little overhang on B Dom there, nice little bit of cover. 
the previous match there was that big window over B dump. Really like that. I don't mind it. I like this fact that there's a big section that you have to kind of work to lock down before you hop in. UAV inbound. Again, it'll come down to map knowledge, won't it? Hello. Drop them. I don't know how you missed me. Do I get another sweep of that UAV? I do. Securing A. Knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, like I said before, um, cosmetic microtransactions are fine. Uh, I just based on what I'm seeing here in this game, I feel like most of them are going to be cosmetic. Like I can't really see anything that's locked behind any sort of paywall or anything like that. So I don't think it's going to be that that much of an issue. They should have had that kill. I don't even know where this guy is. Or what he's using. The round's nearly over. Try to redeem yourselves. Securing C. Charlie secure. Yeah, pretty cosmetic out of mind, especially if it's funding things like DLC and whatnot. I don't know why, I just didn't think there'd be a guy there. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what's in these supply drops, but just having a look through the through the customization menus and stuff, like everything that you unlock, kind of seems. Look at the way I'm skipping around. So I do think there's some connection shit. But just um, looking around, everything do you unlock or you can unlock in the game kind of has a this is what you need to do to unlock it type of a notification. So it doesn't seem like anything is like oh a rare item that might drop in a supply drop or something like that, which is not kind of shit that I want. And that's not what Halo does, so. Yeah, that winner's circle stuff at the end of rounds, I think that's where you can use your gestures. I think I have one for um, Tempest. It would be here, wouldn't it? Profit, sorry, that's what I meant. Johnson, yeah, there it is. Johnson gestures. So I've got Okay, so these this stuff is locked behind supply drops. Your taunts, your good game gestures, your threats, and your boasts are all locked behind supply drops. Which is totally fine. I don't really care about this kind of stuff. And you're something it's here, black market stuff. So I've got two crypto keys, and I need ten to buy a common, and I need three to buy a rare. So this is inevitably gonna be um microtransaction stuff. Uh, yeah, but the, the, generally, and I'm talking only Treyarch here because I haven't played COD properly in, in, in a couple of years, but generally, they're normally pretty good with their um, their DLC, their DLC weapons. Like, I don't remember either in Black Ops or Black Ops 2 a weapon being um, overpowered coming off of the DLC that like they have had overpowered and unbalanced weapons in their game eventually get patched nothing that's really um it kind of sticks out as you know wow that was a dlc weapon that then becomes pay to win
Weevil? Should we try the Weevil again? Always nice to spawn in with bombs falling over your head. That is not good. I don't know how I survived that and those guys ate it. Considering they were right next to me. Uh, so supply drops, you have to earn what's these things called crypto keys. And I believe they're in-game things that you earn. And as you earn them... Which is guy in here somewhere? Huh? Uh, and as you earn them, you can use those to... It's a separate currency altogether from anything else you earn. Well done, teammate. Solo cap that thing. Nice work. Uh, yeah, you earn crypto keys. Don't ask me how, because I don't really understand. I have two of them, and I'm level 14. So I don't have the slightest idea on, on what I need to do to get them. I want to say it's all XP related, because that's what would make the most sense to me. Uh, and yeah, and then there's a there's a, a common supply drop, which is I think ten crypto keys, and then there's a there's a um, a uncommon or rare, and I'm on someone's someone's bad list. Can we save the flag? Yes, just about. Ah, I was trying to go for the flank. Should have checked my corner. Didn't. I returned it around. Somewhat. We were losing by 10 when we got in. There is the XR2. That might be the one weapon that I look at and think. Down. Potentially overpowered? Half time. But, I don't know. Domination. Yeah, Catch, so that's if you're into the DLC, though. And, like, I mean, I know a lot of people complain about season passes. And I can understand why. But, the flip side, the very obvious flip side, I mean, a lot of people are complaining about the Destiny thing, I remember. My argument to that was, well, if you're willing to stay with Destiny for that long, I just completely botched you dumb. I don't know why I came this way. That was really stupid to me. Um, I mean, if you're going to be playing a game until that long within its life cycle and you're and you're still hungry for content, then I don't really have an issue with, with, with paying the money for it. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm going to be buying it. I don't know if DLC season passes for me just yet. Bunch of guys in front of me. Please chase me. Thank you. Pretty sure there was another guy. No? It's not. No idea where they are. Are they up here? We're spawning here. They're confused. Oh, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with paying for the season pass. I might as well take C. We're right here. I don't really have a problem with season pass stuff. If you're going to be playing the game for a while. I mean, I played. I paid it for the previous CODs for a while anyway. I don't know why I was hopping around on the rocks like an idiot. I don't deserve that. A lot of guys on the left and we're losing B, so I'm going to come to this way. The teammate looks like he's a little bit scared. These guys obviously didn't play the beta. Because if you played the beta, you would know that you can cap B down from the ground there.
Ugh. Batman slide. Pick a timer. There's a couple guys to our right. I'm losing Charlie. She's gone. We lost Charlie. Rolling Thunder inbound. Wow. Didn't see that guy. Uh, graphics are good. They look good. Uh, they're not going to blow you away. But it's a crisp game. A crisp looking game. Hello. I mean, Call of Duty has never been a mind-blowing kind of visual thing. Securing a. But they're good. Uh, like it isn't, it isn't a garbage or anything. It's a bad trade-off. A for B is not a good trade-off. What? Uh, LMG? Is that what you're asking? Uh, uh, got out of there. Looks like oh, I was gonna come back for this guy. There's a second guy. There's a second guy. It looks like my entire team is interested in this kill. And he's made out of glass or brick, apparently. He'll be nice and aggressive. I win. Blood and caught here, right? It's one of the rare occasions where this actual this actual specialist ability works the way it's supposed to. Lying down on the ground. Are you anticipating me? Yep, oh, nice nade. We lost Alpha. Battery down. Yeah, buddy. Securing A. Oh, I thought I was clear on C. I thought I was clear. I'll use an LMG in a sec. We won. Shit score, but we won. Signing off. One shot, one kill. Won't even hear it coming. Yeah, the um the sparrow bow is the one that leads to some pretty epic um blood splattering gloriness. Bodies just kind of exploding and all that kind of stuff. What did you want, an LMG? Not really an LMG guy, but what the hell, right? Uh. I'm gonna get rid of one of these things first, so I can put the stock on. Stock suppressor combination is like one of my favorites. And then we'll put on the... So if I remember from the beta, I think the dingo was really good. Kinda looks like a fucking monster too, so we'll put that on. Uh, we're doing Dom, we'll put blind eye on for now. Ah. Oh. 
It's okay. That's... Best part of playing video games, you learn human anatomy. You learn that we are big meat chunks, or sacks of water. No, Fallout 4 later. I need to get a um, external uh, external drive. I, my console is completely full now, and there's not anything on there that I want to take out, pick off. I know I can reinstall it, but I'm lazy. And it's not like these reinstalls are like super quick. Oh, nice. So I got the jungle um, body armor for Outrider, which looks hideous. <laughs> Even worse when you put it on against the Arctic. So yeah, we'll make our character look like a fucking cartoon. Why not? Yeah, I'm probably going to hold off on buying any more of the specials until I start unlocking some of the later ones. Remember, Reaper was a lot of fun. I think Seraph was a lot of fun too, so... A lot of those points for now. No, Catcho, you do not need to be online to play. There's enough. Actually, no, I'll show you right here. Um, if I play locally, I still have access to all this stuff. Um, and this is where you're, this is what you're, you're, this is your combat training, basically. So you can, uh, you can obviously do the campaign, which is what I, what I was doing yesterday. Okay, I don't want to go through this. Do I have to go through all of this? Jeez. I think I have to set this up again. Yeah, you can do all this stuff offline. Multiplayer component offline is just basically combat training, so... Yeah, they still have the overall bot difficulty, which is a bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping they would let you kind of kind of individually select bot difficulty. So maybe you have a couple that are kind of super good, a couple that are kind of average. But a bit disappointing, but whatever. Still, it's still in here, which I'm glad. Humans are gross. I got my dingo, and I've got eight extra points. I can probably squeeze in another perk. Oh, I don't have the token for that. Okay, never mind. I can't. I lied. We'll try. I think I'm going to get slaughtered now. This is just for you, Jaybird. Yeah, I'm only running the UAV while I stream. It's a bit difficult picking up kills while I'm streaming, so I might as well just try and run the basic setup, see what I can do. I can't actually... I know what's in here, but I'm assuming it's here. There it is, so it's in your barracks. The one thing they have done is, I remember in the old Call of Duty, um, the old Treyarch games, you could actually click on a character. And just basically find out all their information, their win loss or KD, and kind of have an idea of the of the kind of players you're going up against. That is not here, so that kind of stat is is hidden, which is kind of good because I think Call of Duty overall kind of overly prioritizes KD a little bit too much. And when people are prioritizing KD, it means that their gameplay turns into shit.
<laughs> Ground War again? Can't even get into a 12 man lobby. You want me to try an 18 man? Ground War, you, your game mode. Oh, okay. Failed a host lobby. I guess that's a massive no. Alright. So it's not working. <laughs> 